All right. Um, hey, everybody. Welcome to this week's weekly JS stand up. Um, do we have a volunteer note taker? Okay, I can take notes. Perfect. Thanks, Yako. All right. We are recording, so. I will go ahead and kick things off. Um, so last week there was an issue with a updated release of um, WebRTC star that caused um, blocking to break in JSIPFS and started causing libp2p tests to fail. Uh, that's been rolled back. There's an issue with block streams and um, pull block not working over handshaking. So that will need to get resolved before any of that uh, gets worked out. Um, but that's been rolled back, so that should all be good to go. There is a um, there's a pending release of lib P2P um, that has some dependency updates. Um, I think David is out this week. I don't know if we have any other um, NPM maintainers for lib P2P to cut a release, um, but we'll be blocked on that until um, he gets back next week. Um, and then... This week, I'll be continuing with the private network updates. That's mostly finished. Um, I just need to start working on some interop tests with Go, um, and then we'll also add some interface tests to the interface repo. Does anybody have any questions for me? Okay, uh, next up, Picking Brain. Hi, uh, so I've been working on um, getting MFS merged. Uh, that means I've been doing some of the pull requests that support it. So I found an interesting bug in uh, UnixFS engine where, um, yeah, JSIPFS uses the readable streams to read a file in IPFS.cat, uh, converts it into a pull stream, um, and then cuts it out. But the thing is that internally, UnixFS engine has a pull stream that it turns into a readable stream. So that gets then turned back into a pull stream and then, and then read out. Uh, and there was an edge case where the pull stream would emit null into its, um, as one of its values, which in readable streams land means the stream ends. So you'd only get uh, like half the files from the directory if there happened to be an empty file in the directory. Uh, so that was interesting. Um, so I fixed that, found a slightly different problem on Windows, uh, and I'm kind of just in Windows hell. Um, but I'm hoping that this will not last very long. Uh, I've got a bunch of interrupt tests to add as well that have uh, to test all the hashing uh, between JavaScript and Go, which should uh, help matters in the future. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be trying to get um, MFS merged this week. Anyway. Great. Anybody have any questions for Alex? Oh, awesome. Thanks, Alex. Uh, Vasco. Hello. Uh, last week, uh, uh, I've been uh, in the CTL as well as IPNS for CTL. I merged several uh, PRs and uh, launched today a new release. So, uh, Jacob, I think you had one uh, PR for that, for the M MFS, I guess. Uh, you, you have the release version for that. For uh, IPNS, uh, I started uh, my OKR for IPNS working locally. Basically, for now, I have an initial version of CLI and the HTTP interface with only the required parameters. Afterwards, I will uh, integrate the other ones, but for now, I want just to have a simple implementation run. Uh, then I started the, the core implementation. Uh, I started uh, uh, going through all the Go implementation, but it was really confusing, so I, I had to ping uh, Steven. And uh, uh, I've been talking with him, and he provided me some uh, really helpful inf uh, information. And uh, I'm uh, on my way now, uh, working in the core implementation. I will try to finish the simple core implementation for this week. Uh, and I'm not blocked in anything by now. Any questions for me? Awesome. Thanks, Vasco. Uh, F. Stiago. 
Hello. So the first days of this week, I was away from keyboard. I, I attended JSConf, and there there was a problem with the flights, so I ended staying there a bit more. Uh, I've been reviewing and merging some PRs from JSIPFS.io, uh, working on some small issues, um, but mainly on the stability and error handling of the daemon. Uh, and that's what I'm going to do next uh, this week. I'll start to add uh, tests to reproduce many errors that we got, and then uh, trying to solve them, basically. Uh, but I, I need to talk with David about this. I know he's, he's going to be away this week. I'll have to ping someone else. I don't know who, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. Does anybody have any questions? Thanks for all those uh, libpdp updates and the switch updates. All right, uh, Hugo. Hi guys. So I also was in the JSConf. So it was a uh, full week, but still got some stuff done. Uh, basically. Uh, figured out how to support the um, create React app. Uh, basically, it was just changing uh, one dependency from peer to peer, to peer uh, switch that uses uses generators and that doesn't get really handled by the framework. So uh, I just switched the dependency for the like a. Uh, uh, with one that doesn't use generators and that's basically the same interface. Uh, so I also got done the test bed for one of my OKRs and started doing some baseline benchmarks and uh, building up uh, the smallest, most minimal setup to get files from a local daemon. Uh, and also, I still have one PR in Asia clocks. Um, I think it's mostly done. Did I crash? Uh, what's it so you. Can you guys hear me? Yes. OK. I think my computer is crashing. So next week or next, uh, I will continue on, on my research um, regarding the, the big files of PR. There's some stuff that needs to be really carefully uh, researched. Um, basically right now, it's really hard to, it's not that we can't handle big files, but it, we, we have the restrictions from the rows of them. That's, that's what it is. Uh, it's really hard to go around it. There are some ways that we can improve, improve but it's really hard. But I think the, the biggest problem right now is like we, uh, we put everything in memory uh, and if uh, a user wants to just get the file, uh, everything gets downloaded and gets in memory, then while in memory it gets persisted to the index TV uh, and if it's like a, uh, 20 uh, gigabytes file it just blows up the, the, the browser. Uh, one of the solutions is uh, not uh, putting everything in memory, just persist to IndexedDB and then we just stream, uh, stream, assemble all the chunks and stream it back to the user uh, using some, some, some the web streams API. Uh, and I'll, I'll be researching on that. And then also, I think we have some kind of uh, bug because um, right at the end, when the, every, every block gets persisted to the, uh, to the index DB and in the browser, uh, like the memory jumps like to the double. Uh, I was testing it with a uh, two uh, gigabyte file uh, and the, the memory just jumped 
to four giga, uh, gigabytes, uh, I'll still need to pinpoint why exactly that happens uh, and try to fix it. And that will be mostly it. Any questions for Hugo? Oh, great. Thanks, Hugo. Uh, Gar. Uh, finally had a, a IPFS DCTL pull request merge. It was uh, some bug fixes. Um, what I'm working on next is CLI tests for these um, bit swap PRs I've got running around that uh, get the spec matching go, which they finally do. Um, there was a lot of tech debt in this that we're finally catching up with. Um, my block is I'm waiting on a release of IPFS bit swap to uh, expose the new ledger for peer. And then I can do uh, the next chunk of this OKR I'm on, which is uh, matching the JavaScript and Go implementations. So that's what I'm at now. Awesome. Any questions for Gar? Okay, Machi. Um, so I was working on rewriting libpdp rendezvous because uh, some people pointed out the code was a bit complicated. And I also made a demo that, uh, uh, a demo, um, a version of PeerPad that uses libpdp rendezvous instead of WebSocket star for discovery. I demoed that on the all hands call, but I will likely demo it on another call again because that one wasn't recorded. And I will, uh, I will be going to finish that rewrite because there are still some missing things and I will work on integrating uh, this rendezvous discovery into IPFS or libp2p better. Awesome. Anybody have any questions for Machi? Okay. Uh, anybody have any other questions? Travis, you popped in, you have anything or just listening? Cool. Uh, just listening. Okay, cool. All right. If nobody has any other questions, I think we're good. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye.